Ugochinian condemns arrest of Igbo leader who threatened to invite her pop to Lagos. All of you was welcome to my channel. We are will tell you the truth the way it is. The spokesman for the coalition of political parties CUPP, Imo Ikenga Gochinian, has condemned the arrest of the Eze Ndibu of Ajayi State in Lagos State. Frederick Wajago by security agencies. Niger News reported that Wajago in a viral video on Friday threatened to invite member of indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, to secure the property of Igbo people in Lagos State. He said the need to invite the IPO Biafra group to the state was followed the persistent attack on some Igbo people and their shops in Lagos. The Igbo leader was captured saying, I pop, we will invite them. They have no job. All of the Apple we protect all of our shops and we have to pay them. We have to mobilize for that. We have to do that. We must have our own security so that they will stop attacking us at midnight in the morning and in the afternoon. When they discover that we have our own security, before they will come, they will know that we have our own men there. I am not saying a single word to be hidden. I am not hiding my words. Let my words go viral. Ibo must get their right and get a stand in Lagos State. Reacting to the development, on Twitter, on Saturday, Ugochine said, arresting the Igbo leader without first arresting those who instigated the pre-election violence that saw many Igbos attacked in its injustice. This, the House of Representatives member elect, therefore, called for the release of the Igbo leader with immediate effect. He wrote, arresting a Zibo of Ajay State Lagos who is seeking protection for his people that is attacked without first arresting those who instigated the pre-election violence that so many Igbos killed in Lagos is injustice on the part of the security agencies. Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis, and like I said, I am not the kind of person that people push around. I put it is the way it is. First of all, Ugo Chinyana was right. The Igbo man shouldn't have been arrested by DSS. But he was arrested because DSS are working hand to hand with APC government and the so-called President-elect Ahmed Bolatinibu, the so-called DSS boss. They were here when the so-called MC rubbish, who happens to be the leader of Abrus in Lagos, was in a hall meeting threatening the Igbos that he would kill them. Mama Chuku the star at home. If not, what happened to you? Huh? Mama Chuku the star at home. He says so many things even in different video and audio where he was threatening the Igbos that he would kill them if they didn't come out to vote for APC or they come out to vote for Labour Party. And when people started complaining, what the leader of police came out to say was he was he commissioner of police in Lagos? He came out to the bunker to say that he the man was joking and that he didn't mean it. But the same man they claimed that was joking activated every damn thing he said in that video. And Igbos were killed in Lagos because. They wanted to vote for election. Some of them macheted in the hospital. To date, police have not arrested that nonentity. 
the DSS have not arrested that minority. That to show you that DSS are regional security outfit of Nigerian government. DSS is a regional security outfit of Eurobas and Flamis. That is just it. They are not DSS. And this is because they were recruited from the ambit of flying terrorists. The truth must be told. Buhari is a terrorist. So there is nothing good that can ever come out from him. A man who has become so talented to this day, he doesn't respect the constitution of Nigeria. He doesn't obey God's order. But he wants others to obey that. Femika Ode, who openly instigated the Yorubas to go after he moves, he was not arrested. Honor her, the so called Bola Medinipu spokesman, who openly instigated the Yorubas to go after he moves and kill them, he is still moving around freely. Nobody arrested him. The so called talk, nobody arrested him. He is celebrating birthday to say thank you for his people for killing Ibos in Lagos. Time shall tell. But because an Igbo man that calls himself a Zibo, even though I don't recognize any Zibo, or less the ones in Ibola. He openly said, we have to invite some group of people To protect Igbo business in Lagos. And for this, they have to be arrested by DSS. This alone is to show you that DSS are regional security outfit working for the Europas and the European politicians and the foreign politicians. They don't give a damn about Nigerian youth. Since they killed and more than innocent sub protesters, have you seen anything come out from it? No tangible thing has come out from it. British government kept quiet because they are powerful and part of it. Amnesty International has not done anything. United Nations has not done anything. Ebos has been marked out for Niger in Nigeria to be killed by some Yoruba politicians and the Flani politicians. By people like Oba of Lagos. That is the truth. We told our brothers and sisters to locate their businesses long time ago, but they refused to listen. In a land where you have some people who are tribalized, you have to be very careful. Everybody knows that Europe are tribalized. It runs in their vein. I'm not trying to insult any of them, but that is their nature. Every man and human being in Nigeria has their own problem, no doubt. But when you are doing something with somebody who is stabilized, you have to be very, very careful. After the war, Igbo land was destroyed. Igbo was given 20 pounds. They have to go back to in such a greener passion. Or unless they did not advise them in the right way that they should bring back their businesses home after they start making it. This is how people, what people do. Rather, unless they keep quiet. Because why? Because people like Iwanyamu want to continue to sell in the whole Nigeria. And for this, he will not tell his people the truth. So many of them who call themselves billionaires, how easy is them? Ndala. What Ikenga said was the truth. But why I dislike that man is just because of one thing. Mentioning the number of IPUBs in his nonsense stories this alone shows that he was bribed somehow he was sent by someone to do what he did if not he could easily call him back after all. these are people created by Igbo governors he could easily call under secret outfit to come and protect Igbo business since they cannot meet the expectation of police with all the money they claim they have to somehow give them a license, long double bar, barrel that they can use to protect their businesses. All they need to do is to supervise them. That's all, to make sure they're not doing the wrong thing with it. But this man opened. 
insulted IPOB. The group that must not be calculated, the man who is suffering DSS custody today for two years. This is why I dislike this man so much. If he's close to me, I would have done something rash to him. He has no right to mention the name of IPOB in this is nonsense gibberish. Igbo life is very important, no doubt. But if they don't want to come back to their home, why can't they bring themselves together? All this Ohanese who has always supported them to remain in Lagos. Going from peace meeting to peace meeting. I wonder how long they will continue to go for peace meeting. When you do something with a tribalized man, be very careful. No matter how many peace meetings you go to, the same thing will continue to your call. The truth must be told. Yorubas are educated. Some of them have money. Upon that, there is some kind of tribalism running in their van. Every ethnic in Nigeria has their own problem. But to be a tribalistic someone, hey, hey, people have to be careful with you. That is the truth. That's the truth. So the man made a mistake by bringing IPB name into this gibberish. That is what I'm talking about. And this is why I dislike that term. Call a man. But if he's by saying what he said, he did not commit any crime. Femi Kaude said the worst thing against the Bulls, nobody arrested him. Onaga said the worst things against the Bulls, do, they do you know what it means for somebody to get people to go and kill people? That is art of terrorism. But nobody, no DSS has arrested Femi Kaude or any other person. They were not hidden when they were saying it. They said it openly. They tweeted it openly. Even the so-called MC said his own openly. This is a man who has been working for Bola Metinim for so long. A drug baron who wants to be president of Nigeria. What are you going to rule? I said this from the beginning. But if not because I dislike Nigeria elections so much, if someone like, like Osimbajo was the person dragging for the election and uh, maybe I believe in election, I will go straight and vote for him. Not men like a drug idiot, criminals like Bola Metinibu and Shetima, who, who is a, 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 a terrorist. Buhari has destroyed Nigeria. He's a terrorist, so there's nothing good can come out for him apart from terrorism. Ibos have been killed. Nobody said anything about it, but because a man was calling for help for some group to come and protect Ibo business in Lagos. That was all he said. You have arrested him and take him to Abuja. Ibo should wake up. The power you are using to withstand all the whole nonsense in Lagos will be enough for you to, to enough for you to locate your businesses and believe me, with such power you will get support in one year if you can be able to build it in that one year all these governors will not stop you when you protest the whole Igbos when they made up their mind to protest in Igbo land against these useless governors condom governors and pampas governors in Igbo land you will see how they will accept that support and that's what will be built they continue to deceive you that Igbos are landlocked if it was a long are they still are Igbo still airlock? How come they don't have international port? <laughs> Some people are doing everything possible to strangle you economically and you are here wasting your time with some people like uh, Iwanyam who has continued to tell you to remain in Lagos. I tell you today, it's very better that you locate your land and do your businesses if it's not enough. Go somewhere else in Africa and buy land and start developing Igbo business right there. Abidjan is one of the places. Even Faso is also a good place. Gambia is also a good place. 
Let me forget about Ghana. Because they are beginning to learn the same thing that Buhari is doing. The Igbos. There are so many places you can do that. Lagos is like a zoo. Leave that place before it's too late. Enough is enough. Like I said before, I don't see anything bad in what that man said, apart from mentioning the name of IPOB by saying that he will pay them, he will do them this, he do them that, and that don't have job. Who told him? Does he know how much IPOB what? This is the only way I dislike what he said, and this is why I see him as someone who was bought, who was sent to destroy and rubbish them of IPOB. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra.